Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the Laplace transform of integrals of functions. Laplace transform of integral of a function. So, if Laplace transform of a function f of t is equal to f of s, then Laplace transform of an integral of this function, that is integral 0 to t f of u du is equal to f of s, that is the Laplace transform of the original function over s. Now let us look at the proof of this theorem. Laplace transform of an integral that is 0 to t f of u du. This is by definition equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st integral 0 to t f of u du dt. Now by using integration by parts, consider this as the first function and this has the second function. So we have integral 0 to t f of u du, that is this function is, is written as it is and then we write the integral of this function which is e power minus st by minus s. The limits are from 0 to infinity. And then we have ma minus integral derivative of this integral which is again f of t. And then we have integral of this function, which is e power minus st over minus s dt. Now clearly at t equal to infinity, this term is 0. So the first value is 0 and then we have minus at t equal to 0, this is 1. But this value is 0 because both the limits are the same and so the integral is 0. So this is also 0. And then we have minus of minus plus 1 by s integral e power minus st f of t dt and the limits are of course from 0 to infinity. Therefore, Laplace transform of an integral from 0 to t f of u du is equal to f of s over s because this is the definition of a Laplace transform. Now let us look at an example using this property. It is Laplace transform of sine 2t is given by 2 over s square plus 4. Now let us look at the Laplace transform of its integral, which is Laplace transform of integral 0 to t sine of 2u du is equal to, by using this formula, 1 by s into 2 by s square plus 4. That is, it should be equal to 2 by s square plus 4 into s. We can also verify this result by looking at the Laplace transform of the integral itself, that is actual function that is the result of this integral, which is basically integral of sine 2 u t, integral of sine 2 u is given by minus cos of 2 u divided by 2. And the limits are 0 to t. And this is equal to minus 1 by 2 Laplace transform of cos 2t, that is the first limit, minus cos of 0, which is 1. Therefore, this is equal to 1 by 2 Laplace transform of 1 minus cos 2t. And Laplace transform of 1 is 1 by s and cos 2t is s by s square plus 4. Upon simplification, this should be equal to 2 by s into s square plus 4. Thanks for watching.